All right, so what you should have created in the first video is this tabletop and these aprons, and then we need to work on the leg. Uh, if you didn't watch that, watch the uh, first video before this. Okay, so let's pop this leg out and look at it a little easier. All right, um, and what it looks like, it's one and three quarters at the bottom, one and three quarters at the top, and if I believe I'm right, I think it's four inches tall to that point. That should be four inches tall. He's just about there. Okay, so um, it's a square to begin with, so I'm going to do 1.75 by 1.75, all right? And why did that just happen? Oh, <laughs> if that ever happens to you, it's because I didn't use a comma. <laughs> 1.75, comma, 1.75, all right? And there's my square. And I know it needs to be as tall as this one, um, so let's measure that quick. And I'm going to see that it's 29 and a quarter inches. So I'm going to pop that up to 29 and a quarter inches. 29.25. Enter. There we go with that. And you'll see that if if you look at it, it's flat on this edge, and on the inside leg as leg as well. But on the outside, you see these lines. And what that is is because it actually tapers down from that point. All right, so it narrows as you go down. So if I um, go down four inches, four inches, what I can do is I'm going to cut it basically there and there. All right, and if I was to make this on in real life, I'd be, um, I'd basically uh, make a mark there and, and cut it down on the table saw. What I can do is I know it's a quarter inch smaller on each side, so I am going to move this bottom leg inward a half inch okay and same at the top I'm going to move it in 0.5 inch all right and you'll see that it only tapers now on this side it's not going to affect this other side because I just grabbed those lines there we go and I can take that then and just triple click it and right click and do make component and this is going to be called leg and I'm going to put a number after it because I have leg names for all the rest of them uh, I'm going to call mine, you can call yours leg 1, I'm going to let mine leg 5, and <clears throat> it's going to be horizontal. That basically just puts the floor where it's supposed to be on the bottom there. And create. Alright, great. So let's start putting this together. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take these two objects and kind of move them away so we're not getting in the way here. There we go. And now I can take this component and let's place them where they need to be. So. I'm just gonna, this will be basically my starting point. All right. All right, you know what? I'm gonna leave the table alone. I could put them on the table, but uh, instead I'm just gonna kind of insert the pieces as we go, and that should work just fine. So, um, if we look at this one under here, you can kind of see that this is in a quarter inch or a half inch all the way around. So, to get this to look right, I'm just going to use my move tool. I'm gonna grab this one on the bottom here. Oop, not that one. <laughs> I'm going to grab my apron down there. So just click on it once, grab your move tool, and I can then... See, I don't actually want to grab it from here. I'll show you how that works. Like, if I do grab it from the corner and try to put it up there, see, it's actually into it. It's not going to really work that well, right? It's actually got to be inside of it. So I'm just going to back it up a little bit, all right? And then what I can do is I can go onto the surface, midpoint in component right there, and I'm going to line that up right into that spot okay so it should be lined up pretty good it's it's midpoint and if and if I back it up just a little bit you can see it it that line right there should line up with the edge all right um, again I can go from it should say midpoint in component and then just drive it straight onto it and it should go in so if I measure this I think I have it right maybe I don't it should be a half inch on that side and it should be a half inch on this side. Exactly. Great. And then we need to bring another leg in. So I'm going to select this leg, or what I can do, maybe even better, is go to components, and I could go down and select that leg as well. Um, only problem with that is when I bring it in, it's not really on the same playing field. So uh, another way I can just do this is start moving this one, tap control, and that gives me another one. I can just stay on the red axis here and see. It. It goes right into that spot as long as I stay on the right axis. Now, this one isn't pointing the right way though, is it? I gotta rotate it. So I'm just gonna select this once, 
go to the rotation tool and then do 90 degrees so I just type in 90 enter there we go and you can see though it's not really lined up the way we had it though so I, I do need to move it over um, so I can grab midpoint and center it on that midpoint there we go good and um, what I can do now too is um, haven't done this before but if I have one component selected I can hold down control or shift it doesn't matter and I can grab these two components and what I could do is I could do um, a copy or I'm sorry I just did cut but copy control C and then control V and it makes another one and I could then um, make sure I um, space it out or you know what a little bit better let me just move these three items I don't want you to get screwed up with that so I'm just gonna move that down alright um, let's put these aprons on I don't want to mess you up so let's just do that first so so I'm gonna again kinda same thing with this is I can move just one of them just select one of them first and then um, grab that piece I'm gonna bring it up here just get it closer first and I need to make sure I go from midpoint onto this one's midpoint there we go now I know it's centered up and it's in there correctly and then I can do the same thing with this one now this one is actually the same if I wanted to move this one over that would work just fine um, I already got this one laying, laying on the ground though so I'm gonna grab that with the move tool you gotta select it once and then move it with this tool I'm gonna zoom in and make sure I grab it to the midpoint of each there we go and then last I need to uh, get these two other two legs on there and what I was going to show you is I can select these two deselect that one from holding down shift and I can just uh, start moving them tap control so I get another set and put them on get them close and then I'm going to actually rotate this 180 degrees and I can move them over and if I zoom in as long as they're both selected, I should be able to move one and they'll both move in together in the right spot. So I'm going to grab from that midpoint and put it onto that midpoint. And if I scroll over, I should see that it's done the same over here and it looks like it's right. So then I just need to grab this last apron and bring it up. So I'm going to click on this once, grab my move tool, bring it up here. Again, I got to grab midpoint to midpoint. All right, and there we go. So that looks pretty good. And in real life, that's how you'd want to pretty much set it up. And then you'd place the tabletop on top. So, and the way I can do that is I'm just going to grab the table and bring it over closer. All right, I had a, made a mistake and I had to go back. But uh, see, once you have this here, uh, to get it centered up on the tabletop, we're not going to measure. I'm going to show you a different way. Instead, you could just grab your tool here and go from the bottom of that uh, routered edge there and uh, bring it all the way to this corner here. Now this isn't actually part of the component, um, so don't worry about that, but uh, then if I just grab from this corner to this corner, the midpoint should be the center. It should be the intersecting point from there to there. So what I can do there is just triple, oops, sorry, I can just uh, select the component and that line, and as long as I move from the center, it'll say midpoint right there, there you go, midpoint, I can drag it from there and then find the midpoint on the other side of the table so I probably want to rotate under it first um, and go back to my move tool and I'll actually bring it with it but I should be able to find the midpoint on it and it'll say right there it is midpoint and then let go and then I no longer need these lines so just select the lines not the components and just delete them alright so there you go and if you look it should be pretty much centered all the way around it should be just fine all right, so great. So pretty much looks just like his now, um, except ours doesn't have dimensions. So let's add that those. So the way you do dimensions is right here. It's this button right here, and it says dimensions. And typically, when you do dimensions on drawings, you don't put them just anywhere. You try to keep them on uh, on two areas. So let's just throw a few dimensions on. I'm gonna go from here to here, from the edge of the components, and go up just to show. Okay, this is a 42 inch. Um, 42 inch table and when you do this you want to make sure you actually grab the proper edge there's a 30 by 30 inch see how I go to the same height you should do the same 
and then maybe you'd go from the ground as well. Um, what you can do for that is, like if I dimension for this, I might go, if you go from like here to like here, it's not a straight line. See, it's on an angle, so it's going to get some funny number. But if, for example, I, I just um, drew a line straight down from it, or I could just measure the legs, then it would be fine. All right, like this one's 30 inches over here, if you see. But that's measuring out first. So I measured out, and then I went up to 30 inches there. So, and you can do the same thing. Um, let's go ahead and measure the leg. So, I'm going to go from top of the leg down to the bottom. And again, it's going to be a funny, well, 29 and a quarter. That one's fine, I guess. So 29 and a quarter, and we know the rest is 3 quarters of an inch taller. Every board is 3, three quarters of an inch on this one. So there you go. So put those dimensions on there. Um, go ahead and let's do a couple other dimensions. I'd like you to do um, maybe from here to here to show that it's only one and a quarter inch. And also um, maybe maybe just the very edge of this. I know it's, well, I don't want to do that one. Let's do the apron. So let's go from edge to edge here. Just make sure. Sometimes you got to zoom way in. Uh, it doesn't really want to do it for me. I'm gonna go on this side. Sometimes it's kind of tricky because you're trying to you're on your underside now. See, it's not even working. Ugh, three quarters of an inch. Never mind. Don't even put it on there. <laughs> They're components, so it wants to grab the edge of the components instead of within it. If, um, for example, let me just show you quick. If let's say you wanted these legs to look different, if I double click on one of the components, it'll change all of them. So let's say I wanted a um, some sort of edge on here. So let's say I, uh, I don't know, I want to just like a little decorative edge here, just like, just like that. All right. And I also went from the underneath, so I'm going to double click on it again. And if I select that and use my follow me tool and then select the bottom, wow, that was not what I thought it would do. Let's try that again. Select here and then use the follow me tool. See, it'd put like some sort of edge on it like that, and I just want to show you that it does to all of them. Now, if I just click out of here, it shows them the difference for all of these. I, I don't really want that. I'm going to do Control Z to undo that. All right. But uh, just so you know, you make changes to one component, it changes all of them, and I have all of them here. I hope you learned something, and uh, good luck.